Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, changing sort of aperture and shutter on this 600D uh, camera. Um, so yeah, this has got an LCD screen, 3 inch screen, and you can sort of flip this around like so. Um, but yeah, unfortunately this is not touch screen, this particular model, however, um, you know, you can sort of change it via the screen. So what I found with this camera, it's a little bit sort of fiddly in terms of changing certain things. So at the moment I've got it in manual mode over here. So I'm in M and to change the shutter speed, that's quite straightforward. So there's your shutter speed and to change that, essentially what you do with most sort of Canon cameras, you've got a wheel over here and you can sort of wheel that in and out to increase and decrease your shutter speed. Okay, so that's that's quite straightforward. To change your f-stop, your aperture, you have to click on this little tab here, AV. Um, so that little tab there. Okay, so you click on that little tab there. You click on that and then that allows you to change the uh, aperture priority. So you can increase it and decrease it to however you, what you want. So yeah, I'm in manual, so it is you know you would you would have thought you just click on that and it'll take you to that, but it's not necessarily the case. You have to click on that and then it'll allow you to change it over here. To change your ISO, I usually press this little button here and then it gives me the options of changing my ISO, as you can see. So I can change it to whatever ratio I want. Um, so yeah, aperture, that one there, if you click on this little button here to change that. Your shutter essentially just stays on shutter and you can increase and decrease that. And these, these buttons here allow you to change your white balance. So if you click on that WB there, that one there. Okay, so if you click on that one there, it allows you to change your white balance. So once you set, you just set it. Your, your one frame continuous burst modes, just click on that. AF, a one shot AI focus, AI server, left it a one shot. And your picture style, so if you want it faithful, monochrome. Black and or faithful, natural landscape portrait, whatever it may be, is essentially those buttons here. You just click on set. So yeah, it's a little bit fiddly in my opinion. Um, if you click on this tab here, it'll take you back to your LCDs. It'll take you back to the viewpoint, so you can see how this is looking in terms of frame. So I'm in, I'm actually in manual mode, and if I want to increase and decrease the AV, you know, I'll have to sort of click back on there and you know go and then change it from that to be honest so um yeah like a few little sort of kind of anomalies i think with this particular model um so if i click back on that button it takes me back to this and i can sort of change my aperture shutter again um so yeah like like i said to you if i, if I just quickly recap on that click it's to go to manual mode so i'm in manual mode to change the shutter speed it's just essentially that one there to change the uh, f-stop, you have to click on this button here. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Let's click on that again. You have to click on the. You have to click on this button here, and then that allows you to. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong one. Uh, click on this AV button allows you to, pay, to change your f-stop and your ISO is that one there. So yeah, hopefully that's been useful. Um, you know, it's not the most sort of interactive models really, to be honest, in terms of the, the settings. The newer versions are touchscreen, so for those sort of things, actually, it's not too bad, the touchscreen version. But for this model, you know, you do have to kind of sort of click on one thing to click on another to be able to change your f-stop, for example. Um, but nevertheless, for a sort of en entry-level mid-camera that you don't want to spend a lot of money on, this 600D still Fits, fits a good build and the pitch cold is not bad so I wouldn't discourage those features as a negative and you know have a go any questions please post via the via the um, channel and I'll happily respond to any questions you may have thanks for watching